final training before traveling to Switzerland. Super excited. And we were off. Goodbye peak Swedish summer, hello Italy. A quick plane ride followed by a quick train ride and we were at our destination. This time we are sharing our experience of sightseeing in Switzerland and one of the toughest mountain races for mid-long distance. We finally arrived. It's a small apartment that has everything just been renovated. The owner is super nice. He built everything himself. Luckily my sister borrowed us her car so we didn't need to rent. Super nice, smooth, this time with the AC. <laughs> uh, gonna go for a short uh, shakeout jog uh, around the lake here. So let's see, then we're gonna also test the water. Uh, organizers uh, messaged me. Hi, Osrina, welcome at Sierra Zinal. Your start time is 10.55, block one. So I think it's for the fastest ones. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, have a nice race. Woohoo, thank you. Normally you would want to rest right before the race, but the weather was just too good. And since we were in Switzerland, we went up to the closest mountain to explore. So down there in the valley, this is where I will be running tomorrow and uh, in the beginning of the race, in the first 10 kilometers, it will be one and a half kilometers vertical up. So that's gonna be a very tough start, but I think if I manage to do that, the rest of the race should be going quite smoothly. We walked around as I was trying to reflect on my expectations for tomorrow. I just want to survive it. Um, I think I wrote a time that I will be doing 3 hours 40 minutes, so let's see if I can make it. I guess I would be very happy if I do, but if it's around more like towards 4 hours, I guess it's also gonna be fine, not a disaster. I am mostly concerned about the beginning of the race, because that's gonna be a lot of uphill. So for 10 kilometers or maybe even 12 kilometers, it will be mostly uphill and quite steep up and it's very hot so and i don't do well <laughs> with the sun and the heat uh, well i live in sweden and obviously it's always very cold there we explored the area a bit more and it was time to go get my bib number Seeing so many people at the bib number pickup place made me feel very excited about the race. The energy was incredible. It's race day, my sister is coming. I'm bringing my Morton. She should be coming in a couple of minutes, arriving by bus because she gave us her car. So nice of them. Hello, hello, my sister is here. I'm here! We do look alike, right? Totally. Sister. Twins. <laughs> yeah, we have same face expressions. Maybe. Oh. Hello! <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, yeah. are you ready? No, I'm not, but let's go. <laughs> As start time was approaching, there was a million things running through my head. I'm always very stressed and excited before any race. I did some box breathing to calm the nerves, visualizing my game plan. The game was on. Hello. Good luck. <laughs> The 
This is it. Showtime. First 10K, survival mode. There is nothing to stress about, focus on the things I can control. Be smart about the water and energy and not to start too fast so I wouldn't kill my legs at the very beginning. What's happening? We're at the very high point where we expect Oshina to be passing by in about like an hour. And this is a live streaming from the Hotel, hotel Light Park from the very best supporters of Oshina. <laughs> Through the course, I kept lying to myself that I need to keep pushing for only five more minutes. Then, five minutes later, I keep telling myself to push for an hour five. Next 10k, not as steep, but still uphill. I tried to choose a runner in front of me and make sure to get closer. It was getting really tough mentally, but I knew that at kilometer 20, I will see Jonas and Indra waiting for me. The only thought in my mind is taking off my running vest and handing it over to my sister. At least I wouldn't have this extra weight for the last 10 kilometers of the race. And the chainsaw. We will miss her finish, but uh, I think it was worth it because it's yeah. a really nice spot. Jonas. <laughs> 300 meters left for sure. 300 meters left. Okay, we are in Zinal. She should be chilling somewhere there. Where do you think she is? Will we find her? Will we not find her? She's not at the baggage station. She must be in the shower. Let's try the showers. <laughs> Maybe toilets. Found her. <laughs> we found you! I didn't make it to my time that I wanted. I had four hours, two minutes. It's a bit of a pity, but uh, I knew that I'm not gonna make it, but I, I just couldn't push it. It was, I was so tired. And the downhill was pretty tough and I had, uh, uh, I don't know, stomach uh, cramps <laughs> all over the place, so then it was quite tough. And uh, I've never felt so bad after a finish, it took me half an hour to actually uh, feel it better. Would I do it again? <laughs> in hell. Um, I maybe should do some proper training. So. What's in the bag? Uh, this is a special gift for me. And uh, unfortunately, it's an empty bottle. <laughs> Firstly, I thought there was something in the bottle, but it's actually, it has my name on it. Wow. So that's very nice. Nate. How are you feeling after the competition yesterday? I am tired. I mean, my muscles are feeling okay. I think I could run an hour one tomorrow. Make sure we're going. Yeah, and people are swimming here. It's like, we went for a toe dip in the morning. That was alright, but this is like, it's yeah. even colder here. We're on a hike. We started our free day adventure with sun, and the very first day was the steepest part of this hiking trip. From green forest to Mars look-alike scenery, we made it to our very first destination. And here it is, you can see far away our caban. Caban de Bec de Bosso. 
Whew. So we finally made it. Uh, this is the destination a refuge that we're gonna stay uh, in the mountains. It looks uh, super nice. And the hike was not as bad. So the knee is holding up so far so good. How are you feeling after the hike? Oh, what hike? <laughs> I mean, it was just 10 kilometers or what? Easy. So the way these things work, you have a, a place where you're gonna sleep. Um, that is shared with other people and you're gonna have dinner uh, that is all together at once it's gonna be at seven o'clock and a bit uh, later the next day tomorrow I'm gonna have a joint breakfast 7 uh, 7 a.m. Uh, everyone together again and after that another hike this time longer Let's see how that goes I see. And here, 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 and now we sleep here, and then it's like here, here, here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, so we're off. It is uh, day two. Today uh, we're gonna walk 17 kilometers more. And uh, 1,000 meters down and 1,000 meters up. Go. We are going to Cabane de Mori. Five hours, fifteen minutes. Well, the five hours estimation was a lie, or maybe we took too many breaks. And as any other normal human being, we shouldn't have decided to take a mid hike run. It's time to go for a run and. My sister Indra is so nice, she's gonna carry my bag. How much will I not do for my... Oh, but it looks so good on you. <laughs> wow. We have changed and now we almost took uh, the, uh, the, the half pleasure. From breathtaking views being greeted by Swiss cows and glacier lakes, we were getting close to destination number two. We were quite lucky with the weather and it was sunny for the majority of the time. However, as we were reaching our destination, it started raining really hard, which made the last climb slightly more difficult. I can see the roof. It seems to be an unwritten rule that all of these places are sponsored by Crocs. We made it to the cabin. This was a truly stunning and beautiful location. Very popular amongst alpinists. After we enjoyed the views, it was finally time for some food. It is hella cold. <laughs> Ready to go? Ready to go. And are you ready? Let's go. Day 3 was not as bad as I expected. Since I was pretty much ready for my knees to give up uh, on the 500 meter drop at the very beginning of the last hike, it was still alright. The cows on the other hand were not excited to see us again. We have been divided by the cows. We have run away from the cows. And just like that, like most good things, the hike was coming to an end. I'm happy to say that I did find my zen in the Swiss mountains. Looks like all I had to do was to have no internet. So uh, this concludes the, the episode. We just made it back, traditionally finished with a little bit of uh, hitchhiking. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe for more.